Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into one of Figma's latest features, wrapping auto layout objects and setting minimum and maximum widths and heights. These new features are a part of several impactful updates released by Figma yesterday, all aimed at enhancing our design workflow. We'll be delving into each update in a series of videos, so subscribe to stay in the loop. Without further ado, let's jump into the Figma file. Before the release of this update, if we wanted to create a layout with two rows containing four cards, we had to go through a rather complex process. We had to create three auto layouts in total. The first one was a main auto layout that acted as a container, and inside it, we had two nested auto layouts. This approach gave us the desired layout, but it wasn't exactly a seamless process. It required managing multiple layers of auto layouts and any changes needed to be carefully propagated through this structure. However, with the introduction of auto layout wrapping, this has changed drastically for the better. We can now achieve the same result with just one auto layout. By selecting the wrap option, our four cards automatically arrange themselves into two neat rows within a single auto layout frame. This not only simplifies the design process, but also makes managing and modifying our designs much more efficient and intuitive. Another new feature is the support for minimum and maximum widths and heights. This lets us define a minimum and maximum values for our layers, adding an extra level of precision to your designs. Let's look at this in action. We have four cards here with auto layout applied. We can change the horizontal resizing property of the auto layout to hug contents and select all cards inside it and change the same property to fill contain. Now we can set the minimum width for each card. For example, 374 pixels. Now as I resize the frame, the cards are getting wider, but once they go below 374 pixels, the last card will wrap to the next line. This allows the objects to flow in multiple rows and columns within the frame wrapping to the next line once the minimum width of the cards is reached. Now, let's experiment with setting a maximum width for the auto layout frame. Let's set it to 2010 pixels. Notice that no matter how much I try to drag, the frame refuses to stretch beyond the 2010 pixel limit. Let's add another layer of complexity by nesting these cards inside another auto layout frame. Currently, the cards are stretching beyond our desired limit. But by setting a maximum width for the nested frame, we ensure that the cards do not extend past a width of 2,000 pixels. This feature can prove immensely helpful in web design where setting a maximum width for your content is essential to maintain the layout even on larger screen sizes. That concludes our guide on Figma's auto layout updates. But wait, there's a lot more to come. We're crafting a whole series of videos, each one focused on a new exciting update. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to master these new features and enhance your design skills. See you in the next video.